Are you wondering how to play Space Alert? Do you want a quick tutorial for new players? Everything you need to know to play Space Alert for the first time in 3 minutes and 15 seconds. First, a quick tour of your ship. Your ship is separated into 6 rooms, 2 floors, and 3 zones. The red zone, the white zone, and the blue zone. Each player will have their own action board. To win, you need to survive until after your 12th turn. How do you survive? Each zone of the ship is capable of handling 6 damage. Your job is to make sure each zone doesn't take more than 6 damage. The shields are an excellent method to stop damage. Each zone has a shield to help absorb damage. Notice the letter B next to each shield, we'll explain that in a moment. The ship's energy flows in a current similar to a capital W. The white shield pulls energy from the main reactor, while the blue and red shields pull their energy from the side reactors. When a reactor does not have any more energy, the shield cannot recharge. When this happens, you need to refill the reactor. The side reactors refill with energy from the main reactor. The main reactor can be refilled by dumping more toxic waste in. You can also destroy outward threats with the lasers. There are six lasers, one in each room. Notice the letter A next to them. We'll explain that in a moment. These two lasers will shoot at anything in the blue section. These two will shoot at anything in the red section. This one shoots at anything in the white section. And this one shoots at any targets in any section. All lasers need energy to work. The three forward lasers all pull their energy from the reactor below it. The bottom laser pulls its energy from the main reactor. The two side lasers are equipped with their own battery packs, leaving them self-sustaining. Remember, if the reactor has no power, the laser will not work. Each laser has an image next to it. The number is how much damage the laser can do. The number of squares represents how far it can shoot. This is a trajectory zone. Threats will always start at one end and slowly make their way down toward the letter Z. Each trajectory zone is broken into sections. A laser with a distance of 3 can hit a ship in any section. Any other lasers will only hit ships within their capability. Each threat you will face acts similarly. Their token starts at one end and moves down the trajectory track. Each time they hit a letter, they will act in accordance with the instructions on their card. To take actions around the ship, you will be laying down cards on your action board. Whichever card you lay down, the top half is what your character will do. To move your character one room in either direction, simply lay down a red or a blue arrow. To move up or down, lay a lift card. Remember how the lasers each had a letter A and the shields each had a letter B? Letter A's are used to shoot lasers. The letter B's are used to move energy around, either to a reactor or to a shield. What about the letter C? The computer needs to be maintained. Someone needs to use the C action in the computer room on either turn 1 or 2. The same needs to happen on turn 4 or 5, as well as turn 8 or 9. Want to score more points? You can use the C action to look out the window and examine your progress. This will bump your score up at the end of the game if you don't get killed. It's always fun to launch a rocket. Rockets are activated with the C action. They will attack the turn after they're launched, so if they're launched in turn 5, they're going to attack in turn 6. There are two BattleBot squads located in these two rooms. Activate them with C and they will follow you around and help you attack threats inside the ship. Lead one of the BattleBot squads here and launch them outside the ship in their own little fleet, helping to attack threats outside the ship. Remember the robot card? It can be used to keep your BattleBots outside the ship fighting in their fleet or inside the ship battling threats. The game will take place in two phases, the action phase and the resolution phase. During the action phase, you will listen to a 10 minute long audio track, which will announce when threats appear and where they are. This 10 minutes is cut up into three phases. You will be able to lay cards in any order you want and pick them up and reorganize them, but only in the current phase. Once each phase is finished, your choices are locked in. That's it! This is by no means a full extension of the rules, but it is everything you need to know to get started. Good luck!